we are different points of attention within a infinite stream of consciousness. That's who we are. You are an expression of the same stream of consciousness that I'm an expression of. You um, are looking at life and reality from a, a slightly different angle, uh, uh, and others will be looking at life from a very different angle, but they are the same consciousness. And we are experiencing a almost infinitesimally small, short experience in what is called a human. So what is a human? A human is a way of processing information. So um, the human body, the human brain, the human genetic system processes information in a certain way, and we call that human. And when um, we reach that point that we call death, the consciousness that's experiencing that um, and, and having these series of experiences we call human, then withdraws from the body, I call it biological computer, which processes information in a certain way. And that's why um, near-death experiences in there now millions describe that when they leave the body, when the body dies, um, reality is completely different to what it is as a human. Because the, the, what the body does is it focuses, and this is vital, I'm coming around to these riots and this racial division in a second. Um, what the body does is focus our attention in a band of frequency, and that band of frequency is absolutely tiny. Um, according to mainstream science, the electromagnetic uh, spectrum is 0.005% of what exists in the universe. Some say it's a bit more, but not much. And the visible light, which is the only um, band of frequency that we can um, perceive as a reality, is a smear of the 0.005%. Um, and this is the body focus and the brain focusing our attention on this particular band of frequency. And in that period, which is ridiculously short, we have an experience by that information processing called being human. Now, if, imagine this, people realized that they are infinite, eternal expressions of consciousness, having a brief experience called human, with a series of labels given to different humans like white and black and Asian and transgender and gay and straight and all these labels. What are those labels? They are experiences. That's all they are. Brief experiences. When we leave the body, um, like uh, these Massive number of people now have reported these near-death experiences. When they leave the body, they're not, they're not still Bill driving a bus. They're not Ethel on the checkout. Their expansive consciousness, which as they describe, they can experience past, present, future, all in the same moment, and, and they, un they undergo this massive expansion of consciousness. Why? Because they've left the body, which is focusing the attention of that consciousness within this narrow band of frequency. Now, if you knew that's what we were, that we're all one, that we're all expressions of each other, we're just different perceptual states of the same consciousness, having brief experiences with these labels, try dividing and ruling that. Very, very difficult. And if there's a few of you and you want to control the many, you have to divide and rule the many and set them at war with each other. Otherwise, the few can't control the many. You have to get the many to acquiesce to you. Otherwise, the few can't control the many. And so what they've had to do is get humanity to self-identify the I with the labels. So you say to someone, uh, who are you? 
they might say, I'm a, a white man from Barnsley who uh, used to work in the mines. No, that's what you have experienced. That's not you. You are the consciousness that had the experience. Someone might say, um, you know, I'm, I'm a black guy from the southern states of America and um, I do this, I do that, and this is my background, this is my life story, this is what I do, this is my job. No, no, that's what you're experiencing. You, the I, the eternal I, the true I, are the consciousness having that experience which will move on when that experience is over. Nightmare for divide and rulers. So what you have to do, you have to get them to self-identify with, um, with the label. And once you've got someone saying, um, I am black, I am white, I am transgender, I am gay. There's nothing wrong with saying those things. As long as we understand that they are not the I, they are the experience.